Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Yesterday, Public Service Commission announced the appointment of former CS Treasury, Henry Rotich, as a senior advisor on fiscal affairs and budgetary policy in the office of the president. That was yesterday. This evening, Henry Rotich has allegedly rejected that offer. And that's very unusual of a Kenyan and more so of a Henry Rotich. Let's have a look at the story as captured by the star. Former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich has turned down a job offer President William Ruto made to him. President Ruto had appointed Rotich as the senior advisor on fiscal affairs and budget policy. The appointment was made in a letter from the head of the public service, Felix Koske. But speaking to the staff Friday, the former CS said he would not be taking up the role. Rotich said he believes he will be of value to the country if he is deployed to the Central Bank of Kenya, where he has served for years. I thank the president for appointing me to be among his advisors. I, however, think I'd be of better service to the country if I go back to CBK, where I worked for many years, said Rotich. So Rotich has rejected that job offer. And that rejection is raising some eyebrows because it's very unusual of a Kenyan to reject an offer to serve in the government and such a top position. What could be happening here, ladies and gentlemen? I want us to put all this into perspective for Kenyans to see in clear terms the games being played here. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's dig deep. Why has Rotich rejected that job offer? The first reason Rotich has not rejected that job offer. William Ruto is the person who has changed his mind. And he has changed his mind either after being advised by some of his advisors or by Rotich himself. Because already Ruto has the Economic Council of Advisors and one of their responsibilities is to undertake the role that Henry Rotich was going to perform. So it was clearly going to be a duplication of roles. That only means William Ruto, without getting advice, might have instructed Public Service Commission to appoint Henry Rotich. It's only after that appointment that he has come to realize that already the role is being performed by the Economic Council of Advisors. The second reason, it's highly possible again that William Ruto is preparing Henry Rotich to take up as the central bank governor. When Rotich was CS Treasury, the current central bank governor, Kamau Puge, was his PS. So it might be possible that Ruto feels Puge is not doing a good job at the central bank. He wants to replace him with Henry Rotich. 
And that only means we might see some resignations coming soon because a central bank governor serves for four years renewable. The current governor assumed office last year, June. So his tenure should be expiring in 2027. To leave that office before 2027 means he might be forced to resign to be given another job somewhere in the government. So I'm seeing that as another possibility. Or alternatively, Henry Rotich might be appointed to head one of the departments at CBK in preparation to take over as the CBK governor upon four years of Kamau Tuge elapsing. And that again just confirms that things are not working in the government. It's now trial and error. Yes, the center cannot just hold. Another reason, I'm seeing a very high possibility where things are so bad to a point, nobody wants to accept any government position. Henry Rotich, having looked on how Ruto's government is performing, he believes things are just too bad to a point he cannot Dent. He believes things are just too bad to a point it cannot ruin his reputation further. The situation is just too bad. The government is clearly a moribund government. It can collapse anytime. Rotich, having gone through what he went through, he might not be ready for another round of such kind of pains and accusations. He does not just want to be part of the mess. So he's just politely telling William Ruto, Mr. Ruto, I can't serve in your government. That's what I'm seeing here. He believes things are just too bad. This is a government that can collapse anytime. As I conclude, that rejection confirms clearly all that there is total drama, total confusion in Kenya Kwanza government. Does it mean Rotate was appointed without being consulted? Did William Ruto just order Public Service Commission to make some roadside declarations without proper consultations? I think that's also a valid question Kenyans should start asking. Is it possible the appointment was made without him being consulted? Or was he promised a job that he has not been given? It might be possible he was promised a job, but he has not been given the one he was promised. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you are not yet subscribed, Subscribe, give this video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. That rejection confirms things are just too bad in William Ruto's government to a point Nobody is willing to accept any job offer in Ruto's government. And that goes on to confirm again that there is total confusion in Kenya Kwanza government. It's trial and error. Appointment was made, but then after another consultation, it's, it's, it has been decided otherwise. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.